Yellow was Coldplay's first breakthrough hit from the debut album Parachutes. I've already done a beginner chords acoustic version of this song, I'll link to it up here. But here we're going for all the electric guitar parts in this song and there's a lot to learn from it. It's a wonderful example of creative string bending to create some really memorable lead lines. So what do I mean by creative string bending? Well, we're going to start off by bending the ninth fret on string three, and we're always going to be bending on string three by a whole turn. And we're going to hit that in the fashion of... And then unbend. Now it's really important we get this in tune to a whole bend. So the sound of two frets, but we'll talk about that in a second, because the creative thing about this is we have the open B string ringing out at all times throughout this opening riff, and we have the first finger always following, so wherever the third finger is, it would be where the first finger kind of naturally falls, in this case, at the seventh fret, and that one's unbent. So a far more common bend to do is something like a unison bend. That would be like a more common thing to do. What happens here is this. We have the first, so the B note, an octave of that B note, and we bend into a fifth interval down to a fourth interval. So this is basically a power chord, kind of the same as... It gets that kind of sound. But with way more tension and emotion because of the bend. It's got phrasing and because of the open string with higher fretted notes. Very classic thing to do with kind of noughties indie riffs. It happened a lot. So actual playing wise we're bending up and it's one and two and three and four and one and then unbend and two and three and four. It's that same pattern for every bend. The next position is the 11th fret and the 13th fret, and just do the same thing. Hardest one is uh, this last one at the 2nd fret and 4th fret. Still a whole tone bend. And then we return. So to make that sound anywhere near decent, we need a whole tone bend to be in tune. It's a two fret bend. And we always want to be hearing that note in our minds and kind of pitching it to that note. There's physically an amount we need to push up to do that, but adjust it by listening and then remembering that hand position. And that hand position changes for each chord, so it's, it's very easy to get very wrong. If there's a tension, and like, like this, that's because the bend's out of tune if you go a little bit too high. Sounds really bad. And this kind of a middle part, a sweet spot where it sounds good. Now Johnny Buckland doesn't even get this spot on on the original recording. There is a tension to it, but it's a recording of a live band, and I love that about early Coldplay. You could tell everything was recorded live, and it has an energy and an electricity to it that you perhaps don't get when everything's quantized to death and all just made by synths and computers. So if you're hearing that a little bit in your playing, it's okay because it's there in the original too. If you enjoy this video, why not check out the full range of courses available at andyguitar.co.uk. From total beginner to advanced, acoustic and electric guitar, we have structured lessons, exclusive song tutorials not available on YouTube, regular live lessons so you can get all the feedback you need. Try all of this for free with a 10 day free trial the link to that is in the description. Let's get back to the video. One final playthrough, super slow, and then we'll move on to the rest of the song. One, two, three, four.
with string bending and this kind of techniques that you need to do lead guitar bending in my lead guitar courses available at andyguitar.co.uk. We're currently calling them lead guitar one, two, and three. That's like an intermediate, advanced, and then a pro syllabus. So hopefully you guys kind of enjoy that thing. That is playing over the chords, B major, F sharp major, and E major throughout all that intro and the verses. So kind of power chords wise or rhythm guitar wise without a capo. One, two, takes us to the chorus, the lead line for which is this. So this is 12th fret on string 2, 16th fret on string uh, 1, move into 14th fret. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Make sure we pick those strings together so we get one sound, not... We don't want that. Finishing with... Leaving it ringing out and then we're back to the lead line. Those chords for the chorus... E major... G sharp minor... F sharp major. So like the four chord, we're in the key of B, so the four chord, minor six, and then the five chord. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones turn down to something beautiful. You know, you know I love you so. So That's how to play Yellow by Coldplay. If you like this, check out In My Place, which I did as part of a free lead guitar series on YouTube. And I've also got loads more lead guitar materials in my online courses available at andyguitar.co.uk. Hope to see you over there. Bye for now.